Good morning everybody. It is Friday again. Um, I was going to have a video of some gutter cleanings yesterday, but uh, the customer was having his roof done and you know the the roofer said um, that they always clean the gutters out after they're done doing the roofing because you know the shingles and all that's you know the sand and all that fall into it so they clean it out so I missed out on that opportunity but I'm not worried jeepers every time I try to do a video there's something got to make noise anyways he's always got stuff for me to do uh, whether it's in the spring summer or fall I'm going to take my uh, pain meds real quick. We're at the gas station now. Uh, it's about a 25 minute drive up up to the uh, semi. So today we are going to St. Paul and then we are going to Mankato. So it's going to be the same end run but different beginning uh, drop off. Uh, I haven't been to this place in five years. And if I remember right, the road going to it is really, really, really bad. Like, it's just full of potholes. But uh, we'll see. If it is the place I'm thinking, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting day. But uh, enough talking. Let's get to uh, doing this pre-trip on the semi. Oh, some damage here. <sighs> All right. Might have to move that truck and trailer back. I might be able to squeak it in and out. We'll see. This is a long truck, so. A little loose, but they'll do. That one's better. Oh, okay. Come on. There we go. That's full. That's getting up there. Oh, just perfect almost. Little, little, little bit over full, but nothing to balk home about. Feels good. Okay, I got shit all over my hands already. Whatever. Perhaps put my gloves on. Refitting, I'm assuming that goes to the fan clutch. Down. Yeah, goes to the fan clutch. Nice. Okay, it's right there. A little over full again on that, but that's alright. That looks okay. Belts look all right. Okay. Not really a fan of these internet. Things. They're just so clunky. You know, compared to a Volvo, Volvo's super, super nimble. And it rides nice. These are just big and clunky. Ugh. Part I do like is uh, these adjust really nice. Put on defrost and floor. I know, I know. 
someone didn't fill the fuel up, so we're going to have to put some fuel in. Another thing I don't like is this guy right here. It's absolute dumbest thing International could have ever done. I'll get to that in a little bit on why I absolutely hate this. I gotta remember how to use this. There, okay. Lights. Put the window down just a little bit. There's a holder right here. Why why are we doing that? Ridiculous. And I still didn't put my damn gloves on, damn it. Whatever. I guess we just won't put them on right yet. Okay. I need to take this out. And then this stuff can all go in the truck. Shut up. That is building air super, super slow. Well, now it's starting to go up. And I wonder where on the other side. They are down there, but I don't see no pull valves. So I bet you that tank has water in it. That's why it's not building up. I'll see if they can drain it. Oh, man. Okay. It's kind of chilly out today. All right. Good, our spots open. Okay. 
I need this. Come on. There we go. And I did get my phone screen replaced yesterday. And I also, I don't know if you can notice it, I had some PPF installed to uh, prevent it from cracking again easier. So that should, uh, I think you can get a better view. There you go. You can see it a little better. I had that installed just because it's going to be a lot easier. Oh, it's already in the. Okay. Thought I was losing my mind for a second. But uh, that's going to be it for now. I'll probably get you guys some driving footage or, or something, but uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. You let me build up my feelings You shut out them quickly, I let you It's easier to fight them, but I know I give you everything I am You throw it it's easy how the fight in the night, no You're so inside the agony Stop for a second, breathe I'd turn it all around if I could But I know it's not enough I've been trying to be See what I'm doing Did I take a bullet for you? It's easy, I don't let go But I won't I need you here, need you right now You throw it away like it's nothing It's easy, I don't let go But I won't You're so inside the agony Stop for a second, breathe I'll turn it all around if I could But I know it's not enough I've been trying to reach you, baby I lose my mind You've been kind of seeing through lately But you're good for me Thank you.
right guys, uh, we made it to Mankato. We sat in line on the hill for uh, about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. It's, uh, what the heck time is it? Come on, tell me what time it is. 5.35. Uh, we got there at right around 4. A little before 4, actually, because I had to make a few phone calls and... Yeah, I made them at 4. So, now there is... We made it from the hill to the plant, and there's one, two, three trucks ahead of us to load. And then, uh, it's our turn to load. So, 20, 40, about an hour, maybe a little less than an hour, and we should be loaded and on our way back home. Pretty uneventful day, just besides uh, you seen in the uh, clip before of the uh, trip from uh, River Falls, Wisconsin to Mankato here, uh, that there was an accident on the other side of the road and everybody was just rubbernecking and slowing our side down. So, but that's about as eventful as it's been. So uh, we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. I mean, we still got we still got a load. Uh, we got to go to Menominee, stop at Menominee, and then switch our logs from ag exempt to regular logs. And then we still got hour 15 back to the yard, and disconnect and all that good stuff and paperwork, and then a 25 minute drive home. So it'll be about the same as last Friday. Um, be home around midnight, maybe a little earlier if uh, this loads quicker. Um, that's about it. I guess I'll either see a Menominee or at the yard. I'm not sure uh, what I want to do, uh, but on the, the time that I had up up the hill here, I was uh, downloading all the footage from uh, earlier onto my phone and all that. So once I get home, shouldn't take me very long to finish the rest of the video. I'm about halfway, three quarters of the way done with editing already. I'm just from sitting and waiting. So, but enough talking. See you guys wherever I stop and start recording again. All right, we are at the yard. Let me, uh, we actually found a front row spot. So let me uh, see if I actually Got it on the pad there. Uh, brought my light with me this time. Forgot it the last time. Should be damn near on the pad. Oh, perfect. Exactly centered. That's exactly what I like. Let me get my gloves on and uh, we'll drop it. I do not like this crank handle at all. It is bent uh, a little too much in one direction. It's very awkward to hold.
it was going to do that. Come on. That's one thing I don't like about this truck. It does not have the rear axle air dump. Not anywhere on here. It's got the axle lock, fifth wheel jaw lock and unlock, but no axle dump, which is really annoying. Oh man, let's uh, get some fuel and uh, park this thing, do our post trip. <coughs> oh man, I tell ya, I tell ya. Okay, uh, we can turn the back lights off now. Don't tell me that this one's not going to work. Okay, um, we're going to go the other side. Dang it. Okay, hopefully this side works. If not, uh, whoever gets this truck next week can fuel it up. tighten these so tight at least you know they'll never leak although it looks like this nozzle 
It really leaks. Yeah, it leaks right at that fitting. Uh, hey, this one works. It's going to leak, that's all. Alright guys, I figured I didn't want to bore you with the 10 minutes it took to pump the fuel. Let's uh, see how much fuel went in there. 105 gallons. Now this truck wasn't fully full this morning. Uh, it, I only filled up, I only topped off uh, that side, uh, and it took 21 gallons, so there's still 21 gallons that wasn't put into that one, so 105 minus 21 is uh, what you get for how, how much fuel we use today. So we're going to do the post trip real quick. And then park this. And then uh, that'll be it. That brake lining is getting a little thin. Oh, this rattle is bugging me. Stop. Just stop. Okay. said stop. Someone's got to tighten that. That's super annoying. Alright, let's go park this thing. Actually, before we park this, so I don't forget, hundred and five gallons. Now it's topped off. All right, let's go. Oh, man. What a day. Where are we going to park? Any spots? Any spots? Nope. So... I think another truck with a trailer is going to be parked in there. And I definitely do not want to get out 
of that water puddle. No bueno. So. We're parking it right here, I guess. It's still going to be out of the way of the travel lane. Yeah, I think that'll do. Not too mucky. Okay, so let's get our mileage done. And that's it for paperwork. 749, 645. All right. 645 minus 128. 517 miles today. Um, Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah. Paperwork's done. Well, guys, I'm going to just load up all my stuff here and uh, let me close the window so you can actually hear me. Let this thing run for a little bit, you know, do the cool down. But uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, be the same next week, probably Friday of next week. Uh, I probably will have a video Monday evening. Uh, I got to do some landscaping type work at a campground on uh, Sunday and Monday. So. Uh, it's simple stuff, but uh, I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm going to do probably a time lapse with this, and then I'm going to use my phone and do some of the stuff with that. Uh, I bought a tripod, so it has a smartphone attachment and an action cam attachment. So it'll be cool, but uh, I want to get home, so I'm going to end it. It's, uh, in the video so thanks for watching uh, if you want to see some different types of stuff or or more of driving or whatnot let me know in the comments otherwise uh, see you later